Greetings, this is Chris Atkinson with the Compute Systems Product Group uh, showcasing operating system installation updates for October 2019. Uh, in this video, we're going to be showcasing our Windows installation as well as an exciting new feature we call Cisco Validated Templates. It's going to help you uh, automate your process and, and kind of get you out of the business of having to really maintain um, your own custom uh, unattend or kickstart files. So the first thing we want to do is add the latest server configuration utility that's available on software.cisco.com. So we'll just give that a name uh, as well as version and uh, the models that we, we want to support um, with this particular SCU, SCU version. These are free formed fields. Um, so really uh, for, for this top part, um, no wrong answers. Just uh, it's going to help you uh, decide which which particular um, server configuration to choose. Here we'll be selecting um, from a internal web server that I have that's going to be serving up the um, the server configuration utility. You want to make sure that you use something that's local to your integrated management controller or that your the, your integrated management controllers have access to. So if it is like an HTTP location. Uh, you'd want to make sure that the firewalls and whatnot for an IMC um, are available um, for it to connect to and, and you know download this media. Because again, this is just the metadata for where the integrated management controllers are actually going to pull the, Im the image from. Um, this isn't Intersight actually serving up this media. So again, we'll copy in the uh, location of our media that's local and we'll paste that in here. We'll go ahead and click add and then uh, browse to our servers tab and uh, select a system that we want to do the operating system install on. So I've got a, a tag already uh, defined for my um, operating system install demo that's going to bring us to the single server. So you can be doing this across multiple servers or a single system. So when you click start, you'll see uh, specifically that, that we're only doing um, this one server, but again, it could be multiple systems. And we'll choose the operating system that we want to install on this system or systems. And since we're doing Windows, we'll have an additional box pop up to choose an addition. So most of the Windows ISOs now contain all the different additions. Um, so we're going to specify here what we want to use. You'll notice we've got a new tab, the Cisco tab. And that's where we have a predefined configuration template for the operating system that's been in, that's been uh, selected. And you'll notice through throughout the uh, the unattend file here that we've we've pre-installed um, through our Cisco templates, uh, we've we've got some answers that um, that we'll be asking of the uh, configuration set. So I'll close that out and then drop down here what these actually um, you know relay to. So. Essentially, the we can choose a static or a DHCP config from our from our existing template, and then just populate those uh, that data, um, and that's what the the system will use. If we had multiple servers, we would obviously uh, have multiple configurations to set with different um, host names, passwords, and product keys. So we'll paste in our product key, select next. And now we're just going to select the server configuration utility that we want to utilize um, to, to help facilitate the bootstrapping of the operating system. You can see our details here of what we're going to be doing. And then click install. Now while that's uh, kicking off, one thing to note for, for the, uh, the templates uh, is not just for the answer. The answers are not just for uh, the Cisco validated templates. You can also use them in your existing custom um, uh, configuration files. So if you've if you've done this before in the tech preview, uh, you've probably uploaded a kickstart file. Um, if you're doing a VMware in for installation, for example, and inside that kickstart file, you've got specified, um, you know, static values of IP address and host names and whatnot. So you can now replace those with uh, basically variables that allow you to, um, to kind of make those decisions at runtime. So uh, if you were to choose uh, a custom kickstart or a custom unattend file, um, you could then specify your own um, 
answers uh, to provide to the system. So if you want to do additional things like configuring multiple NICs or um, go ahead and configuring uh, your switching um, for a, a soft switch or something in, inside a hypervisor, you can do those things um, with additional answer files or excuse me, different uh, additional answer variables that you embed into your kickstart or your unattend files. So here you see the process running. This is obviously in a, in a sped up mode. So it's just like 10, 10x the speed, um, which you can expect. Uh, the process isn't um, uh, super fast in terms of, of delivery. I think this particular Windows installation, due, the, due to the size of the media, um, takes about an hour to complete, but it's 100% uh, you know, hands off at this point. It's just running through, doing its thing. Uh, and the server configuration utility paired with Intersight is actually doing the checking of all these different areas. So you can kind of, uh, you know, for, for this demo, I've got the KVM up and running, but obviously the point here is that you don't have to do that, right? You want to be able to use um, the progress bars and the, and the information that Intersight is providing um, to be able to check the progress on one or maybe multiple server installations that you have running. So just a reminder, this operating system installation uh, is still in tech preview. Uh, so we'd ask that you please do not, uh, do not attempt these in production environments. Uh, please continue to test uh, in your lab setups or lab environments. And please give us uh, feedback through the traditional Intersight feedback methodology. Uh, hopefully you're, you're, uh, you're familiar with that. Um, it's the button in the top right, a uh, little question mark. Uh, you can click that and add your feedback or any uh, any issues you come across uh, with the uh, with the operating system installation. So with that, we can see that the uh, the OS install is complete, and that concludes this demo video. Thank you so much for watching. Please visit us at intersight.com/help.